Hey guys, how's it going? It's Bill Moore back again with another review for Jason and Roberta Parker of the Angry Goat Pepper Company, located in Bradford, Vermont. Makers of some outstanding products. I've reviewed many of them over the last few years on my channel, so make sure you check them out. I highly recommend it. I've got another one of their new signature series hot sauces, and this one is called Chocolate Habanero balsamic and black garlic doesn't that sound amazing from the angry goat pepper company another one of their signature series hot sauces all right well let's go ahead and get into this one guys it says here on the side simple recipes maximum flavor our signature series will deliver try this sauce on tacos eggs pizzas steak Meatloaf, mashed potatoes, sautéed mushrooms. All right, doesn't that sound good? Now, the heat meter on this one, they've got it rated 6 out of 10, and I've got to say that uh, Jason is pretty accurate on his uh, rating, heat ratings. Um, sodium is listed at only, if I can read it, uh, 60 milligrams. And here's the ingredients on this, guys. This really sounds amazing. Uh, all natural. Uh, no xanthan gum, no artificial ingredients at all, no preservatives. We start off with chocolate habanero pepper mash. One of my favorite peppers is the chocolate habanero. Just amazing flavor, and it delivers some heat too. And that is peppers and vinegar, of course. Then we have balsamic vinegar, apple cider vinegar, smoked Vermont maple syrup. You can't have an Angry Goat Pepper Company hot sauce without that delicious Vermont maple syrup in it. And then we have smoked uh, water, uh, black garlic powder. And I was talking with Jason. He makes his own black garlic. Okay, so uh, just keep that in mind. Then granulated garlic and sea salt. All right. Now just check out this beautiful dark color. Looks like some black garlic. It's a nice dark color on this one. Isn't it? Check that out. Nice consistency, not too thick, not too thin. But boy, does that ever look dark and rich. All right, well, let's go ahead and get into the chocolate habanero balsamic and black garlic hot sauce. Now, this stuff just blew me away when I smelled this. This smells so amazing. It smells spicy. But the thing I get with this one is that it comes across as, as a, a umami, a gooey, sticky, um, right in your face, uh, black garlic aroma for some reason. It just comes across that way. It's just got a nice aroma to it. And I think I was talking with Jason and he was saying that the combination of balsamic vinegar really brings out the, the flavor and the aroma of the black garlic. And I have to agree. It just does something. It's amazing. The choice of balsamic vinegar and what it does with the black garlic in this sauce is just amazing. It just, it just intensifies. It. It's a nice, rich, it comes across as that sweet, sweet, gooey, umami, black garlic goodness in the aroma and then of course that maple syrup just coming across a little bit giving it some nice extra sweetness and that habanero mash though you can you can smell some heat from some chocolate habaneros in here as well but it is amazing and then addition of granulated garlic as well the uh, smoked vermont maple syrup wow all right I'll show you what this one looks like. Here we go. Nice pour to it. All right, here we go. Chocolate habanero, balsamic, and black garlic hot sauce. Oh. Whoa. This one packs a punch, guys. But is it delicious? I'm getting some bits and pieces. Maybe it is some granulated garlic, or maybe it's maybe it's even from the peppers. But wow! Now this delivers a massive amount of habanero heat. And I'll go ahead and say it right now. This is definitely six out of ten because I've had this before. It it delivers habanero heat. Woo! It packs a punch. But boy, is it it's sweet. Not overly sweet. 
but it's just got a nice, unique flavor. And that balsamic vinegar is really, like I said before, really bringing out the, uh, the black garlic aroma. And then the maple syrup, I'm getting a little bit of smokiness uh, from that maple syrup. I can recognize that a little bit. Not too salty, but boy, you get a you get the flavor. Just it's exactly the title of the sauce: chocolate habanero, balsamic. You get that tangy balsamic vinegar, and then the black garlic. It's it's appropriately named. That's exactly what you're getting. Now, I, let me show you what I did with this one, guys. My son Daniel invited us over for dinner one night, and he made some Mississippi pot roast. Google that if you don't know what it is. It was amazing. One of the best ways to cook a pot roast you've ever had. I had this on top. I had some mashed potatoes and some rolls, and that dinner was just fantastic. This is so good on pot roasts. I bet it'd be so good on a steak, on meatloaf, on anything like that. Wow, this delivers some heat. As you can probably tell, my mouth is on fire from the chocolate habaneros. Oh flavor is just outstanding this is this is probably uh one of my favorites of the year definitely def very very good heat definitely a strong six out of ten you nailed it jason on the heat but so so delicious check this guy this company out guys if you haven't already jason and roberta parker they make some amazing products from the angry goat pepper co Dot com link will be down in the description and if you like to order your sauces online and you want to try some other sauces not just angry goat they can uh, they have a store online store with many other products that you're probably familiar with and they've got some great um, uh, savings on shipping as well so make sure you check that out not only get their sauces but you can get other hot sauces as well so uh, check that out angry angry goat pepper co.com Link will be down below. Jason and Roberta, thank you so much for sending it. I do appreciate it. Guys, thanks for watching. Stay tuned for more. And until the next time, you know what to do. Enjoy the burn. We'll see you guys later.